I've flown all manner of drones, including several DJI drones. This is by far the best, even better than the more expensive ones. It's marketed for beginners, but that's only to get people to spend money on other high-end drones so they can say they have a professional drone. If you're unable to take professional videos with this drone, you are not a professional. I wish people didn't believe the marketing. This drone is good for beginners, since it does have obstacle sensing in all directions. However, it is capable of excellent quality video and images. It has advanced flight features and just as many options as some of the drones twice or three times the price. I got the Fly More kit with plus batteries. I can comfortably fly an hour while recording 4K on three batteries. I would encourage anyone to purchase this drone. I haven't really put its range to the test, but I've taken it close to the battery's range. I've flown it out a little over four miles away and didn't lose a single bar of signal strength. I flew it back and still landed with 30% battery. I also took a 4K recording the whole trip to see how that would affect the battery, but I had plenty left on landing. If you do buy it, here's my suggestion, buy the Fly More kit. You'll be disappointed when your battery is drained because it's so fun to fly. See if you can get it on payments if the price is a bit out of your range for a lump sum purchase. I also bought insurance. You have only 48 hours once the drone is powered on to buy insurance. I bought two-year coverage, which includes water damage or flyaways. Keep in mind that if the drone is lost, it will cost you about $235 and they will send you a brand new one. I also bought one extra battery since the case holds three and the drone holds one. So I have four in total. With the extra battery, I can fly for one hour and 40 minutes. Ball. The camera quality is breathtaking. If you're into photography or videography, this thing will be a beautiful addition to your suite of tools. I bought one extra battery just in case, but honestly, depending on your use case, you can get a lot done with the 45-minute battery life. I was able to fly this thing about 1.5 miles away from my area, and in most cases, you really wouldn't need more than that. If it does fly out of range, don't panic. It has a return to home feature, and it will fly back into your range shortly. It is not a silent drone by any means, but it also isn't the loudest either. If you do feel the need to quiet it down, there are quieter propellers you can purchase on Amazon as well. This is a powerful drone that is pretty easy to handle. Just don't expect it to go completely unnoticed. The omnidirectional sensors on this beast make it really hard for you to crash this thing. The only way you can really damage this drone is if you're being completely reckless. If you want to go really fast, you can fly this thing in sports mode. The downside is that the omnidirectional sensors are no longer doing their job, so just use it wisely. I only touch it when I have the drone 50 feet plus already in the air. This drone is a bit too big to be flying inside of a house. So if you were planning on doing indoor drone real estate tours, I would advise looking at other options. I launched this bad boy in my room and it launched forward right into my chair. Just don't make silly mistakes like I did and you'll be all right. Excellent drone. I only wish it had vertical shooting like the Mini 3 Pro. The DJI Mini 3 has been one of my proudest purchases I have zero regrets. Its compact size and high quality picture make it a standout. As a relatively new flyer, I found the numerous reference videos and the clear launch and landing features built into the DJI RC controller extremely helpful. The dual video and photo capabilities for both horizontal and vertical perspectives have been fantastic, adding a special touch to my trips and perfectly capturing the moment. If you're searching for a drone that will wow you and everyone else, this is your best bet. The image quality captures waves, rocks, and more with greater clarity than the naked eye. I was super impressed by the varying speeds, ease of control, and how stable the drone flew, even in mild wind conditions. Highly recommend 10 out of 10. I initially purchased the Mavic Air 2, but returned it due to excessive noise. Next, I tried the Mavic 2 Pro, which had slightly less noise but still struggled in low light. The obstacle avoidance and shooting modes were too conditional to be practical, and it lacked 4K 60 frames per second. Hoping for better luck, I returned the Mavic 2 Pro and ordered the Autoly VO Lite Plus from Amazon. This drone has all the features I need, and they are more versatile, making the intelligent flight modes genuinely useful for professional work. 
The Dynamic Track is far superior to the Mavic's Active Track, feeling more intuitive and confident while avoiding obstacles and keeping the camera focused on the subject. I love that the tracking features allow eye level altitude. The image quality is impressive right out of the camera, with much better color than the Mavic. I bought neat video to denoise the Mavic's footage, but haven't needed it for the EVO's footage yet, which is bittersweet given the $80 cost of the program. I'll probably update this later, as this drone continues to exceed my expectations each time I use it. In contrast, the Mavic often fell short. YouTube reviews don't do the EVO 2 justice. I have three batteries, but rarely need more than two for a shoot. The battery life is excellent, and it often gets great shots on the first take if you adjust the settings properly for the conditions. As a previous DJI Mavic 2 Pro owner and the DJI Mavic Mini, I was eager to try the new DJI Mavic Air 3. After using it for some time, I can confidently state that it is an excellent drone that provides a lot of value for its price. This drone is significantly larger than the previous Mavic Air and Mavic Mini generations, weighing in at three times the weight of the Mavic Mini. To compensate for that weight, you get a substantial feature set that I believe strikes an excellent balance between the Mavic Mini series and the Mavic Cine series. The DJI Mavic Air 3 is equipped with a dual-lens camera and all-around obstacle sensors. While it is slightly larger than its predecessor, the Mavic Air 2, it remains compact enough to fit in your camera bag. The drone boasts a long battery life, offering up to 46 minutes of flight time per intelligent flight battery. This kit includes three batteries and an excellent charging hub, redesigned with locking charge slots that can consolidate charge from each battery to the highest charge battery, thus maximizing flight time while on the road. One of the standout features of the DJI Mavic Air 3 is its dual camera system. The drone features both a wide angle and a mid telephoto camera, enabling you to capture sharp 4K footage with standard, flat, or HDR color profiles. The cameras are gimbal stabilized and have a 60 degree upward tilt, making it easy to capture smooth and stable footage. Unlike the Mavic Pro and Cine, both sensors on this drone are identical allowing for consistent quality footage at either effective focal length, 24mm or 70mm. Overall, I am very impressed with the DJI Mavic Air 3 Fly More kit, which includes the new DJI RC2. It offers a lot of value for its price and is an excellent choice for anyone looking for a drone with advanced camera capabilities. Its long battery life, compact size, and intelligent flight features make it a joy to fly. Its control range and capabilities rival those of the Mavic 3 series. I would definitely recommend it to anyone seeking a high-quality drone.